Abide in your pure silence. The best way to recognize the silence is the place in us where there are no waves, no restlessness. We live in this world, we interact with people. And so many thoughts appear and disappear. And many of them attract us. Sometimes causing uneasiness, anxiety, Sometimes too much of happiness. Whatever emotions a thought creates is transient like a thought. The problem is not in thought or the emotions it brings, but the problem is identifying with all these thoughts and going on this roller coaster ride. That is entanglement, not the thought itself. If we go deeper into the psychology of these thoughts, They come to us because we live in the mind, not outside the mind. Living in the mind means everything what we do, we have been told think and then act. It's good to plan if you are going somewhere, if you have to do a big task, how you will accomplish it. But we have taken thinking too much. For an instance, if you are washing dishes, you should not be thinking, you should just be washing dishes. If you are driving your car, you should just be driving your car rather than mind going and thinking. And this bad habit of thinking goes to an extent that if you are in satsang, contemplating on self, the mind is taking to your work which you will be starting in few hours. And the problem is misuse of mind, using too much of mind. This is the trap. If you try to stay as a witness to the mind, its activities, not even trying to be witness, just be a witness. If thought comes, let it come and go, rather than getting involved in it. Life throws so many things in front of us 
and things disturb us only when we have strong likes or dislikes. If you have very mild like or dislike, you don't bother. It might cause slight turbulence and then you are back to your own calmness. But let's say if I am very strong in my concepts, in my ideas, then things which are not in harmony with what I believe and think, then I will get disturbed. And so there is a beautiful mantra, let it go, let it go. Don't hang on to things. We all are pure awareness. Pure awareness is formless. It is nothingness. How nothing can get affected by something? Nothing should affect us. We should stay in our pure awareness as pure awareness. In complete emptiness. This can only happen when we transcend mind. There is no other obstacle than mind. It's not the situation outside which is affecting us. It is only our mind. To abide in silence, don't touch mind, the mind which produces thoughts not when you want. It's just its job. Let's say if you are standing on the side of a busy road and you try to pay attention to all the cars moving on the road, you will get tired and fatigued. You can even become mad. Ignore all thoughts. Pay attention to the pure silence before, during and after thoughts. Pure silence is your language and thoughts is of the mind. Use your discriminating power to filter out what you are not. Anything you see, hear, touch, feel, you are not.
nothing in this world can define you everything in this world is transient impermanent it comes and goes it gets born and will die nothing in this world can define me even the i thought the owner who occupies the body mind complex is not you it has a life the one who entertains all thoughts goes through the roller coaster ride of joys and sorrows is not you it is your misconception the one who believes he is body mind is a misconception use your discriminating power you are the one which never comes and goes thoughts are not there all the time mind and body disappears in deep sleep and in dream sleep mind takes another form shows you a different story every night it keeps changing ego which owns the body also disappears in deep sleep what is left in deep sleep only bliss silence after the deep sleep you report that bliss that means something exist in deep sleep we go into our real nature every night and subconsciously we are so happy to go into our real nature leaving this body and mind and this world and in truth we derive that bliss and joy and happiness from the deep sleep which is god's grace on us and so the sleep is so important to all beings it brings all of us all of us into the restful state every night with every sleep and this gives us the clue that we can be in that deep sleep bliss in daytime all the time so when you wake up in morning don't identify with the body mind complex 
let the body do its job and if mind has to think about a project about something let it do but you stay uninvolved You stay in your own bliss. You are only existence consciousness. You have no relations. Nothing belongs to you. When you function from the uninvolved existence, You develop all the qualities of that godliness in us. Compassion, unconditional love for all the beings, always contented, unending joy within. Always in your own blissful silence, beyond mind. The only sacrifice you have to make to be here is to give away your identity with the body-mind. All the garbage which we hold on our head take responsibility going deep into the connection network of friends, relatives, taking responsibilities, getting emotional about small and big things. You have to give up that identity. You can't stand on two boats together. You will fall. You are doomed to fail. You have to turn yourself from human being to just be and from being just be. All the movies, dramas, theater happenings in the world only represent the ego. person, identity, it reinforces all these things, makes your conditioning stronger. If you wish to break this illusion, Abide in your stillness as awareness. And keep drinking the nectar of your own bliss.
remembering that you are alone. All this world is your own projection of the mind. You stand alone in this vastness as pure awareness, mere presence. It's exactly similar to your dream. When we dream, we are involved. And there are so many people around us. When the dream breaks, everything disappears. And we are alone. Then comes this waking dream. Again, there are so many people. This dream also can break, can disappear. If you promise to give away your I thought, your ego, your attachment to your body-mind and behaving like body-mind. The simplest and easiest technique to give away this body-mind identity is to stay as a witness all the time in your waking state. Paying attention to the pure awareness. Pure awareness has unlimited power. It is the source of the infinite world. When you surrender your false identity to it, it will do the rest of the job for you. It will not do, it can't do anything unless you look towards it. It doesn't matter whether you verbalize or not verbalize your intention. When this is your true intention, it knows. You can fool whole world. You cannot fool pure awareness. It knows you so well. If we pretend that we have nothing else in this world and we are purely surrendering to pure awareness, it knows our hypocrisy.
it knows our attachments it knows everything so with all your honesty don't get involved in anything at your mental level just watch everything unfolding when you get too entangled in this body mind try to remember where were you before entering into this body why to attach for something you are not more than 100 years in this billions of years of history of this universe you are a tiniest smallest bubble why to worry about this bubble why not identify with the deep ocean what you are ocean of pure bliss even if you don't want to leave this body mind complex it is leaving you all the time the life is spent by you is the progress towards death death of this body mind is inevitable probably death of the body the mind with its vasanas will give you another body unless you cut the head of your ego with the sword of discrimination and end this onward journey of suffering birth and death end this illusion finish it now don't wait for next birth who knows in next birth you will remember or not and where will be you as what form and in what conditions postponing is a very very dangerous proposition do it now stand firmly on your feet you are pure awareness you are always uninvolved you are a visitor in this body mind for a very very short duration remember you have nothing to do with the body mind 
you are eternal you are pure you are always in your own bliss you are uninvolved nothing in this world represents you you are the substrata you are the screen where all the images comes and goes don't identify with any images don't get attached to any images when thought comes watch them from pure presence if you watch them from ego from the person for whom these thoughts are you will get entangled you have to be vigilant you step down into the person mode and you are trapped you stay as presence and no thought can touch you know your safety zone by practice by your internal recognition soon you will realize there is no point in going into the person mode which only causes suffering this acknowledgement will make you free forever but with practice spend some time as impersonal presence pure awareness and there is no need to declare this to anyone in this world it is your own dream who would you declare this and who will listen to you and how does it matter your freedom matters only to you
डोंट पिक अप एनी अदर टास्क एट पर्सन मोड फिनिश योर ओन सीन You are pure awareness. have firm belief 100% conviction you are always uninvolved whenever an internal dialogue happens with thoughts in form of attachment in form of any type of sorrow remember that you cannot even if you want be part of any drama in this world all the stories of this body mind you are not the body mind your involvement is only up to the level of witnessing the events without judging them listen to your own silence it is profound go deeper and deeper and deeper in your own silence giving away your identification as the wave going deeper into the ocean ocean of silence pure bliss go beyond all the concepts be naked
bring all your concepts of God to the pure witness self internalize all your energy paying attention to the absolute let your ego melt away in its fire leaving behind pure emptiness never ever blame anything outside for disturbance of your peace or suffering it's all self inflicted no one to blame Whom would you blame when your sleep is broken and the dream ends? Whatever happens in dream is not even your fault. Things just happens. Abide in your pure awareness all the time. never ever move from pure awareness remembering yourself always as nothingness without any name or form if you have a strong identity in doing work then use this body mind to do all the task for others not for your own enjoyment <coughs> you stay in your pure silence untouched unruffled uninvolved